Welcome back and prepare to be bedazzled because today I'm going to be commencing my review of the SH Figure Arts Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 Action Figure 2 Pack, which is comprised of the Star Lord Action Figure in tandem with the Rocket Raccoon Action Figure. Is this Action Figure 2 Pack a Paragon of Resound Perfection or should be relegated to the dumpster, or is it characterized by unalloyed and stupid mediocrity in the form of a quantitative score that raises this Action Figure 2 Pack to be a 2 out of 10? Is it meritorious? Is it stellar? Is it stupendous? Is it robust? Is it remarkable? Is it extraordinary? Does it hit all cylinders? Fortunately, much of my relief, much of my elation, and much of my gratification, these action figures are meticulously detailed. They unequivocally resemble their movie counterparts. They emulate their movie counterparts, to say the least. Furthermore, in addition to having likeness to their movie counterparts, they're also comprised of high-quality sculpts, high-quality shadings, high-quality textures, high-quality details, and they can bundled with high-quality accessories. Furthermore, they have latitude for dynamic pose ability. They are sporting ample points of articulation, so you can maneuver them into nearly any pose that you, that you can conceive of in the bowels of your mind. So these action figures have a copious amount of redeeming qualities, to say the least. So why did I furnish them with an egregiously low review score? Well, without further ado, without further delay, without further procrastination, allow me to demystify that answer to that inquiry right here, right now. Lamentably, much of my dismay, much of my consternation, much of my chagrin, much of my grief, much of my agony, much of my agitation, much of my irritation, these action figures command a steep, staggering, hefty, exorbitant, lofty premium price of $90 plus sales tax, which is unequivocally a cost prohibitive price point for the avid, devout, avowed, Hardcore Marvel fan acquiesced to Pang. I have to utilize an 8 Octobus Marvel Legends action figure that can bundle with some additional action figures as a benchmark for comparison of value. If you recollect, if you expended $8 plus sales tax in the 2000s and purchased the Toy Biz Marvel Legends Deadpool action figure, you're about to receive the dupe action figure that can bundle with the 8 Dark Toy Biz Marvel Legends. Deadpool action figure. Additionally, if you purchase the Adar Toy Biz Marvel Legends Silver Surfer action figure mid the 2000s, you're also able to receive an additional figure with the Silver Surfer action figure, which is the action figure of Howard the Duck. So, if we're going to pay a markup that is 1000 25% greater than the retail price of an 8 Artopus Marvel Legends action figure that came bundled with an additional action figure as well as a comic book, we should be furnished with at least 1,025% more value than the value that was provided to us post-purchase in an 8 Artopus Marvel Legends action figure that came bundled with an additional action figure as well as a comic book. However, in this context, that is not the case. Are they going to charge 1,125% of the retail price of an 8 Artobus Marvel Legends action figure that can bundled with an additional figure as well as a comic book? Then we should receive unprecedented value for our hard earned money. This action figure two pack should come bundled with far more than just two action figures, interchangeable hands, and blasters for the action figures. It should come bundled with a myriad of Guardians of the Galaxy action figures, as well as an exorbitant amount of build figure pieces for a meticulously detailed behemoth of a 14 to 16 inch build figure. We should also receive Marvel video games, Marvel movies, and Marvel TV series episodes in the packaging. There should be far more items wedged in the packaging if we're going to relinquish $90 plus sales tax to purchase this Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 action figure box set. The action figure box set should be comprised of a bare minimum of 11 figures in lieu of being comprised of only two figures. So, there's not enough items consolidated into the packaging to entice me, to incentivize me, to compel me, to sway me, to convince me to relinquish $90 plus sales tax on this Guardians of the Galaxy 
Volume 3, Action Figure, Box Set. Just having a measly two figures subsumed under a 112 action figure scale that are a part of the action figure box set does not provide me with enough of an incentive to purchase this action figure box set. If the price were to precipitously plunge to $20 or less, and perhaps I would take heed of possibly buying this action figure box set. If I were affluent, I'd more than likely also forgo buying this action figure box set. I just cannot vindicate, I just cannot warrant hemorrhaging $90 plus sales tax on this action figure box set. Furthermore, I also prefer the comic book variants of the Guardians of the Galaxy characters in lieu of the movie variants of the Guardians of the Galaxy characters. They may look akin to one another, but I prefer to have comic book variants of the Guardians of the Galaxy characters as action figures. on my shelves over having movie variants of the Guardians of the Galaxy characters as action figures taking up real estate on my shelves. So my final verdict is 2 out of 10, I'm being magnanimous. These action figures are indeed high quality action figures, they hit all cylinders, however The price point deters me to buy these figures. You could buy the Marvel Select Guardians of the Galaxy action figures if you want high quality Guardians of the Galaxy action figures that trump the has for Marvel Legends, Guardians of the Galaxy action figures in all facets as a caveat of articulation. The Has for Marvel Legends, Guardians of the Galaxy action figures eclipse the Marvel Select Guardians of the Galaxy action figures in the domain of articulation. However, in all other domains, the Marvel Select Guardians of the Galaxy action figures metaphorically, reign supreme when contrasted to the Hasbro Marvel Legends Guardians of the Galaxy action figures. In other words, succinctly stated, the Marvel Select Guardians of the Galaxy action figures have superior sculpts, superior details, superior textures, superior shadings, and superior aesthetics relative to their has for Marvel Legends counterparts. So, I hope that you deem this video to be enthralling, captivating, riveting, insightful, mesmerizing, engrossing, informative, and intriguing. I hope that you are entrenched in the unalloyed epicness, and I hope that you deem this video to be eminently engrossing, no facets. Even though these action figures are ineffably extraordinary, I will forgo purchasing them. Will you procure them? I do not know. You are a pioneer of your own destiny. You can implement your own purchase and decisions. Maybe you will defer a purchase and decision for a prolonged period of time, or maybe you will impetuously purchase these action figures. Who knows? Thanks for watching. Have a blissful day. Goodbye.